Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze this beam using flexibility matrix method. Before analyzing, let us see the beam one time. In this beam, there are two spans, span AB and span BC. Also, there is a overhanging span CD. In the span AB, there is a point to load 24 kN. It is acting in the center. In the span BC, there is uniformly distributed load 15 kN per meter acting for the full span. In the overhanging span CD, there is a point to load 10 kN acting in the point D. The moment of inertia for the span AB is 2i. For the span BC, it is 3i. For the overhanging span, it is I. Length of AB is 5 meter, length of BC is 4 meter and the overhanging span is 3 meter. In the points A, B and C, there are hinged supports. In the point C, we can easily find the movement because on the right of C, there is overhanging. To find MC, we have to multiply the load 10 kN with the overhanging distance 3 meter. When we do that, we are getting MC. When we find movement in this way, we have to always apply a negative sign with the load so that we will get a negative movement. Now, let us take the spans AB and BC and calculate MB. No need to consider the overhanging span anymore because we have calculated the moment MC. Here, the number of unknown reactions and movements are 3. They are RA, RB and RC. The available equilibrium equations are 2. Sigma M is 0 and Sigma V is 0. The degree of static indeterminacy is equal to 3 minus 2. We will get 1. Let us release MB. This is our released structure. We have made the released structure. Now let us make the coordinates diagram. In this analysis, there is only one coordinate. That coordinate is in the point B. Because from the point B, we have removed MB. Now, let's see the formula to find MB. P matrix is equal to delta matrix inverse into delta matrix minus delta L matrix. Inside all of these matrices, we will have only one value. Because in this analysis, there is only one coordinate. In this formula, now let us find the delta L matrix. Now using the loads, let us make the conjugate beams. In the span AB, there is a point load 24 kN acting in the center. The formula to find out the maximum bending moment is WL upon 4. Using the formula, we are getting 30. We know that in the conjugate beam, we have to divide the movement by EI. For AB, the movement of inertia is 2I. So, we have to divide the movement by 2EI. When we do that, we are getting 15 upon EI. In the span BC, there is UDL, 15 kN per meter acting for the full span. The formula to find out the maximum bending moment is WL square upon 8. Using the formula, we are getting 30. For BC, the moment of inertia is 3i. So, we have to divide the moment by 3ei. When we do that, we are getting 10 upon ei. To find out delta L, we have to find the reaction in the point B dash. First, let us take this diagram. This is symmetrical. So, the reaction RB dash will be equal to 
the area divided by 2. Finally, we are getting 75 upon 4 EI. Now, let us take this diagram and calculate RB dash. This is also symmetrical. So, here also RB dash will be equal to area divided by 2. Finally, for RB dash, we are getting 40 upon 3 EI. For delta L, we have to add these two values. After adding, we are getting 385 upon 12 EI. In this formula, we have found delta L matrix. Now, let us find delta matrix. In the point C, we have calculated the final moment MC which is equal to minus 30 kN meter. To find delta matrix, we have to apply this moment in the point C. When we do that, in the point C, it will be 30 and in the point B, it will be 0. Using that, we can make this diagram. For BC, the moment of inertia is 3i. So, we have to divide the moment by 3 EI. When we do that, we are getting 10 upon EI. Here, we have to find RB dash. In this kind of triangular loading, the reaction for the maximum part is WL upon 3 and the reaction in the minimum loading side is WL upon 6. Here, we have to find RB dash in the minimum loading side. So, the formula is WL upon 6. Here, W is 10 upon EI. L is 4. When we apply the values inside the formula, we are getting 20 upon 3 EI. In this way, we have found delta matrix. Now, let us find the delta matrix. To find out delta matrix, we have to apply unit moment in the coordinate. The coordinate is located in the point B. So, in the point B, we have to apply unit moment. When we apply unit moment in the point B, in the point B, the moment will be 1 and on the other sides, it will be 0. Using that, we can make these two diagrams. For AB, the moment of inertia is 2i. So, we have to divide the unit moment by 2ei. For BC, the moment of inertia is 3i. So, we have to divide the moment by 3ei. That is why in this diagram, we have smaller height when compared with the other diagram. Now, let us find RB dash. Now, RB dash is located in the maximum loading side. The formula to calculate RB dash is WL upon 3. For A dash, B dash, W is 1 upon 2 EI, L is 5. When we apply the values, we are getting 5 upon 6 EI. For B dash, C dash, W is 1 upon 3 EI, L is 4. When we apply the values, we are getting 4 upon 9 EI. To find delta, we have to add these two values. After adding, we are getting 23 upon 18 EI. Let us apply that inside the matrix. In this formula, we have calculated all of the values. Finally, after the calculations, we are getting MB, which is equal to minus 19.89 kN meter. In this analysis, we have calculated all of the moments. For the span AB, MB will be acting in the clockwise direction. For the span BC, MB will be acting in the anticlockwise direction. Now, let us take the span AB and calculate the vertical reactions by taking moment about B, we can calculate RA by applying the rule sigma V is equal to 0. 
we can calculate RB1. Now let us take the span BC and the overhanging span CD together and calculate the vertical reactions. By taking moment about C, we can find RB2. By applying the rule sigma V is equal to 0, we can find RC. Now let us add RB1 and RB2 so that we will get RB. Now you can see the shear force diagram. Now you can see the bending moment diagram. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.